Hello guys, this is Microsoft Mike here and welcome back to another episode of Microsoft Mike Plays Portal Reloaded. Last time, we got out of stasis and tested in the first few chambers. And now the announcer wants to present to me something. So now, we go to the moment of truth. The triple portal device. Wow, this a triple portal gun? Device. How fucking cool is this? This is the epitome of awesome right on For top now, of things. To introduce you to the concept of portals in different timelines, the time portals will be placed for you. Okay, that sounds a fair, but still, present, though, this is fucking sweet. In the Traveling future. interdimensionally, as well, as time travel combined with it. That is what I can call amazing on a whole new level. A portal placed in the future will not override its existing location in the present. Okay. Thinking in four dimensions means not only knowing where to place your portals, but also when. Yeah, that literally makes sense. Considering the fact that I've been placing portals non-stop in the past, and so have Sam and Mary. Holy fuck what, what the fuck was that? The decay of this facility over the past 20 years may have caused the destruction of some portal surfaces. Try to find a way around this. Oh but I will. And I know the way around this. Thanks to my super intelligence on my way around things. Nicely done. Take note. Because time portals exist in exactly the same location in both timelines, they can only be placed on surfaces which are intact in both the present and the future. That also makes sense, but that could also apply as long as you don't accidentally shoot a portal at one surface that fucks up the future version of the same portal location, right? Touching the material emancipation grills will cause any ordinary portal to fizzle. Time portals are not affected. If a portal closes in the present, it will also close in the future. So think about where and when to pass through them. Okay. So my question about that is correct. And now, voila. I now just found the way in, and I didn't need to figure out the layout of this chamber for quite long. I knew exactly what to do, because I possess a special kind of super intelligence that allows me to understand exactly what I should be doing right away. It's quite too bad that I don't think Sam has that same level of super intelligence, because he tends to get himself into certain situations that could otherwise get him into hot water. Hell, he hasn't even seen Mary An get mixed up into that kind of shit. Time portal activation force field. This field wow, will activate shooting time portals now? Oh, fuck, portal. yes, times infinity. Now this is a whole new level of spectacular. Great. With the ability the to shoot all three portals, all I can do anything so I want within my own control. Your first test while shooting three different portals. So, now that I have those different portals, I can easily solve this chamber, which I know the layout of. One of those portal surfaces you would need to activate and place a time portal on, for the sake of momentum. Just like the shit I did just now. Simple. Wait, hang the fuck on there. What am I to do again? Hmm. Well done. Oh, Traveling so I needed portal. to place a time portal at the location I was at, before grabbing the fucking present cube. My bad on that part, blame the fucking CPU fart I had. So now I have to travel from catwalk to catwalk to the next chamber, eh? Sounds like some kind of voyage I would have to undertake in. Oh, I so know the layout of this one chamber. But to verify my knowledge of this, I just need to examine it a little more and see what to do from there.
Okay, that's one step down, and that ought to leave one more for me to do the jumping honors in. Nicely done. Now. Let's move on to some more advanced challenges. Bring them on. I've dealt worse in the past. If you are ever unsure where you placed your portals or where you left a cube in the other timeline, feel free to use the puzzle element indicator switch on your portal device. Hey, I'm this often sure of where my portals and cubes are. Thank you very much. So I won't need that shit anytime soon. So I know the layout of this chamber too. I just need to set things up accurately before I activate any switches in the present timeline. Hopefully I don't fuck this up. Holy shit, I've managed to do this all in the first try. Oh my god, I never thought I would do something like that without fucking up. Yeah, you would need a lot of precise reflexes before you end up doing some shit in certain situations. Come to think of it, it's actually quite remarkable that you are still alive. If at any point you are concerned about your odds of survival, don't be. Remember the test subject teleportation devices at the start of each test section? Should you die at any point during this test, we can simply rearrange the atoms you are made of and put them back together. Good as new. Heh, <laughs> very cool. Although I don't think I will die at any point during any test chamber, I better watch myself just in case I get across such a situation. I'm lucky, though, that this isn't the rifle world, where some people die permanently, if they die. Anyways, now that I got the present cube over to the switch, I just need to get the future cube over to another button at the other side of the chamber. And my intelligence tells me that I'll need to be quick about it, too. Whoa there, future cube, you're not allowed to go past the emancipation grill, unless I say to, and voila with the test chamber. Because of the stupid rules of quantum mechanics. Ha. Huh. Stupid rules. Yeah, I can figure that stupid rules are fucking stupid. Think about those stupid rules that Kaka put up, as well as some other agencies. Okay, so that teleports me to the next chamber. I'll cover it in the next episode, though, so stay tuned for more content in the future and subscribe for more in the future. This is Microsoft Mike, and I say peace out.